What is good, YouTube? It is your girl Creole Barbie here with Creole Barbie TV. If you're to my channel and you are visiting for the first time, I would like to say welcome. And if you are not new and a part of the Barbie gang, welcome back. If you like it, my hair on my head, I got it from Cloud Nine, Sensational Cloud Nine. And the name of this unit is Aubrey. It already comes pre-plugged. So, ladies, if you don't know how to plug them wigs, boom, it's here for you. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my hair tutorial that is in the description link below. That way, you can go ahead and get an update on how I achieved this look. In the meantime, I want to go ahead and give you guys some information about my overall experience at the post office, starting from orientation experience down to the work floor, the work environment, what to look for, and things of that nature. Basically, I started my orientation November the 9th, okay? So I go into orientation and we're sitting down, we're watching videos, safety videos, we're going over safety procedures. We're going over information about what we'll be doing at our particular site. I was in a class with over 100 people, but they were all going to different post offices, different plants. And it was about maybe 12 of us that actually went to the Kansas City, Missouri PDC. And for you who don't know, it's the plant. All right. So 12 of my group went to the plant. I want to say when it comes to orientation, they were really helpful. They informed us on a lot of stuff to look out for. Basically, you know, how to write grievances. They actually um, had your union rep come in and you sign with the union if you want to. If not, then you can pretty much opt out. But the union is APW for those who want to know. Also, they also give you sign in online using your EIN number and the password to be able to do your check stubs, do whatever time you occur um, for vacation time, and so on, so on. Um, they also basically just give you an overall outlook and experience on the post office and how great it is for a person who's going in the workforce and trying to look for a career basically people don't realize that when you go apply at the post at the post office yes PSC start off as an entry level position but you become regular that makes you become career and that's when you start racking up all those years because the goal is to get out. also just a good tip when you go into orientation, make sure you're wearing the proper footwear. They will send you an email on things that you should bring. You make sure you bring a pen and make sure you bring proper footwear on your feet that you're wearing it. Because the safety inspector will actually go around the room looking at everybody's feet to make sure that you are wearing the proper footwear. And she dismissed a few people in my class. So just to get you guys on the safe note... And you don't get dismissed, go ahead and wear the proper footwear. Just be prepared. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Schedule. Your HR rep from wherever plant or station you're going should be there. They'll tell you your position and then they also will give you your schedule. Like for me, mine is PSC Automation. That means I operate machine. I'm a machine operator, okay? Now, because I started when it was like Labor Day... No, it wasn't Labor Day. It was, um, I started when it was Columbus Day, so I was off that Monday and Tuesday. But when you go to the plant, your plant supervisor would then give you your schedule. So make sure if you have any type of vacation already, you know, bought tickets for and whatnot, speak up then and there. That way they can already have that figured out for you. Because when you get in there, you can't be going around saying, well, I had these days off. In advance, like you have to speak up with your HR rep in the beginning. First day of working at the post office. So, me and my 12th group that I was in orientation with, we entered the building. We sat in the orientation room with the HR rep. She sat and went over everything again that was briefly spoke of, spoke of in 
the prior orientation class with the 100 people. At that point, she then told us to gather our things, make sure our ID's badges work. For those who didn't, we stayed behind to make sure our badges work because in order to get inside the post office facility, you have to swipe this badge. Each time you enter, each time you leave, you swipe it when you hit the parking lot, and then you go swipe it again when you get to the door. So the thing I like about the post office is that it's highly secure. Can't nobody get in, and do not let nobody piggyback their way in behind you. So be sure you look behind you to make sure nobody's... So my first day of working, my supervisor took me... And he paired me up with a trainer. We trained for a week. So don't feel like when you're going to go there, you're going to be out in the blind. Because you won't be in the blind. You have a trainer for a whole week. That's your time to ask a lot of questions. And make sure that you're hands on. Because you cannot understand anything you're doing unless you're hands on. It's a fast paced environment. You have to make sure that you're meeting certain numbers so basically when you process mail okay make sure your ledge is full once your ledge is full that's when you'll hit the start button on the machine for the mail to be processed the goal for you is to process at least 30,000 mail pieces all right as long as you're Processing that much mail in the first round of processing the mail. And, in fact, if you are a seasonal worker, make sure your numbers are looking good because that will get you called back quickly. A good test score with good working, you know, if you work hard, showing up to work every day, they're going to call you back. And I wouldn't worry about being seasonal at that point. But in short term, in my case, I got hired on permanently. I'm a 360. Five day break. In that five days, they got a chance to bring me back or see me on my way out. So I have to make sure, even for myself, that I continually, you know, have my numbers where they need to be. And start off in the beginning with your numbers being the way they are. So that way, it's like a breeze to you. The work is super, super easy. Yes, it's a hustle and bust. Whatever your supervisor tell you to do. You know, and if you don't want to do it, just do it. There's going to be some nasty supervisors out there. There's going to be some nasty people. Don't get discouraged. They're not going to speak to you. They're not going to smile at you. They're going to be rude. It's going to be people that's not even going to go and want to train you. That's the kind of environment you're going to be working in. But you cannot be discouraged. You know, Sometimes you have to earn respect in order to get respect. And when the regulars saw my worth ethic, that's when the, I started getting the respect that I deserve. But just do you put your Bluetooth in, have your one ear in, listen to your music, go at your pace, and you're going to be good. And don't worry about any negative energy. Don't try to be there to make friends because you know at the end of the day you're there for one reason only the thing you may be paired up with somebody who's a regular and because you're new they're going to have you doing all the work while basically they're just sitting on their phone chilling whatever don't be discouraged just do it do your work work you know and everything that you're going through will soon come to pass Seriously, but just make sure you do your work. Don't worry about what nobody else is doing. Don't worry about talking to a supervisor, writing a grievance, none of that, you know. You starting in, you're going to be the lowest man on a totem pole. People are going to take advantage of that. So they're going to see that as a break period. As long as you ask questions and work, gain the experience and the knowledge you need to know and have in order to be successful at that job, then you're good. It's like a breeze. So, that is my overall experience right now at the post office. So, if you are a seasonal worker, make sure you stay in connection with your supervisor. Let them know that you want to become permanent and what is it that they're looking for. Ask them how, simply, hey, how am I doing? You know, is there anything I need to work on? You should have, like, weekly huddles. Also, they should have, like, your numbers and whatnot on the board 
for whichever station that you're working in. So be sure to look at your station. When you're running mail, it'll show you how much mail you're processing. Look at those numbers. Pay attention to that. That every All the information I'm giving right now is for you to get called back. Because that's the overall goal of your season, to get called back. Because the money is good. The money is there. You know? Stay those extra overtime hours if need be. If your machine is down and maintenance is working on it, go find somebody who doesn't have a partner and help them. Trust me, the supervisors are looking at that. My video with my overall experience at the post office. Thank you guys for watching. I do apologize if I, have, if I have not been posting a lot lately. But as you can see, I've been on the grind hunt. I'm still working at the post office. I'm still working in my security job on call. So I'm literally on the grind. But I am making sure that I deliver what y'all need. Because I want to see everybody that subscribed to my channel. They comment on my last comment below when I said I got a new job at the post office. And how y'all was giving me that feedback and that energy. I need it for this video. But in the meantime, if you need any help, any help with anything. Whether if it's applying for a job at the post office. Looking up something. Anything in reference to automation. I got y'all.